I hope that's not a problem. And also the HUD is positioned weird. It's a classic. The cult classic. Oh, it's so loud. The cult classic, whatever. So, everything you'd want from a video game, maybe even. Hang on. All right, we're gonna play the anime game, I guess. Uh, let's see if I remember anything about this game. Okay, so take notes. This is a this is a lesson. Okay, that was the lesson, everybody. I hope you took notes. So welcome to uh, Uma Wa whatever. This is her. This is she. As you can see, she's a girl. Uh, yeah. Wow. And this is a physics game, kind of. They're a little weird. Well, this is the best you're gonna get on the Super Nintendo, so I, I hate to break it to you. Uh, the cool thing about this game is that enemies randomly spawn. And by a cool thing, I mean it's a really annoying thing. Uh, here's lesson two. That was very educational, everybody. Okay, so here we go. And you can, uh, you can make the, the fishing hook, you can make a line, you can make it short. Whatever you want. This game is an open, open, uh, video game. You make the choices. You get to, get to immerse yourself the way you want. These are the bad boys. You gotta get rid of them. Okay. So, this is it. This is, uh, this is all the game is. If you're hoping for more, I hate to break it to you. This is it. And you go up here. Wow, we. Welcome to anime, we. Uh, so it almost just spawned an enemy there. That would have been really stupid. And then you go in the door! That's the video game. Isn't that cool, everybody? Isn't that great? Lesson three. A thing you already knew. How about that? This level is very tricky, because unlike the other levels, there's fish on this level. And I think that's an eggplant? Yeah. This is anime. You go down here. Um, that's, that's a backpack. Uh, little Umahara lives in her backpack, so you have to give her a bunch of them. And then you go up. Uh, these are the snail boys. These are the snail boys. Not very nice, you don't like him. I didn't grab him. Well, now she's dead. That's the end of Anime Week, everybody. I hope you enjoyed watching. That was a very good, good tricky. Is game control good, or does it just look good? No, it actually controls pretty well. Uh, it's a little weird to get used to, but you can do some cool stuff in it. Okay, neato. No, the game actually controls all right. Uh, it's really weird how it works though. Because you're really bouncy, it, it doesn't feel like actual physics. You just have to kind of wrap your head around what they sum up. Uh, the snails are the best part of the game because they're not fun. Also, if you're, asked, if you're wondering what the story is, don't worry, there isn't one. We got him out of there. Oh, you goof that. Uh, here's a little tricky to do. Oh! And you go right in. I'm gonna teach you that one. That's, uh, that's for you to figure out. I'm pretty sure that I need to do it. Oh, and you go up here. This is, uh, this is Mr. Eel. He's no good. Whoa! Thank you, uh, Kim, Kim, uh, oh, uh, Kim jong Il. no! Okay, everything's fine. Uh, thanks for the donation. This eel's gonna kill me. Uh, oof. Oh, we're fucked. And everything's okay. Just, uh, gotta start it over. 
fun thing to know about this game. It's actually not bad. Then I died. Never mind, this game is bad. It masks you when you talk. How about now? Do it mask me when I talk? Thank you, Kim. I appreciate it. I appreciate the money. Uh, we were gonna stream yesterday, but things came up. There's always something. There's always something. And I wanted to get Pizza Hut. The Pizza Hut's closed. Can you believe it? Why do pizza places even close? They should be open forever. Who's with me? Uh, so this is called being fucked. This is when the game uh, just keeps doing whatever it wants to get you really angry. Okay, bye, little girl. Uh, I don't remember a lot about this. I haven't played this in... I don't remember. I guess a year and a half. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good game. It's, uh, it's hard. It's also very unforgiving. Also, the enemy spawn system is stupid, and it's probably... Okay. Only bad thing about it. I actually don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm probably not handling this the right way. So, let's think outside the bun for a second. Okay, we thought outside the bun. That doesn't work. We'll just do it the way we're supposed to, I guess. Okay. We can go up. Or you can get killed by the fish, whatever you want. Uh, so, we're having a great run. Great run in the video game. And then you go up, and then you grab the eel, and then you gotta grab the fish. Oh, the fish is down there. Oh, here's what I'm talking about with the enemy spawns. They're pretty cool. Uh, they, they just happen on their own. Uh, you have no control over them. And if they feel like just spawning a bunch of them on top of you, they will. Uh, that's the only thing I don't like about this game, because it's a really stupid idea. Okay, we got the eel. Oh, but now here's a fish, too. Uh, we're already about to get a game over, but, you know, whatever. It's anime today. Okay, we lift ourselves up here. Uh, we're gonna drop one down here. And then go down here. And there's a- look, there's a little door. Oh, and then you go in the water. And then you go up here. There's a little fish boy. Uh, this is actually Shark Boy from the movie Shark Boy and Lava Girl. I know he doesn't look like a shark, but he got older. Uh, so this is where you die to the eel. It's okay, you can go down here, I guess. Oh! I don't know how I'm gonna get back there. Oh! We brought a friend! This is Mr. Evo, he's here with us now. Look, you can do that with him. You can have fun, you can pal around, you can chum it up. Okay, and now the game starts spawning everything everywhere. Uh, so let's try that again. Don't worry, you can go as far underwater as you want. Uh, you can just take a little dip. Nobody, nobody will care. I care when that happens, so I don't like that. And then here's another video. Thank you for the donation. Uh, oh! It's okay, we're fine. Okay, maybe not. Oh, 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 God. Oh. No, we're fine. It's always a good time in Lumara. Oh! It's always a good time in Lumara. Uh, you never know what's gonna happen. Okay, okay, you know, so like I was saying, the random enemy spawn system is brilliant, it's a very good idea, and I think more games need to do it, because what could be finer than uh, getting stuck in a spot like this forever, because it won't stop. Okay, so anyways, okay, so anyways, okay, so any, okay, so any, holy moly, can you stop? Okay, so anyways, uh, we're gonna go up to the doorway. Oh, I forgot about this part. Oh, well, gee, uh, 
So that's the hard exit if we want to get it. I guess we'll just take this one. I'm sorry. Okay, so here's a giant tadpole. This guy's a real fucker. Now, uh, the first time you play this part, you're probably wondering, what am I supposed to do? Uh, you have to wait him out. The game doesn't tell you that. So you probably, uh, get very confused. Maybe even a little angry. It's okay. See, he's our friend. He's a good guy. And we, uh, you go up here, and then you gotta kill his babies. I don't know why a tadpole's giving birth to frogs, but... Uh, for my blog, uh, WTF Japan, it's, uh, it's a little f a funny thing that I posted on there. Because it's very, uh, very lol random and brings very big XDs to the table. Japan is very weird. <laughs> uh, one time I watched anime and the girl, <laughs> her boobs were so big. Her boobs were so <laughs> big. <laughs> Oh, WTF Japan, am I right? Oh, that's so funny. Uh, so you kill the okay, and then the frogs kill you. But, you know, you're just palling around. Everything's okay. Uh, that frog is probably gonna come back and kill me. Uh, no, maybe not. Okay, we can we can pass this. See, everything's fine. There's no problem. Grab the frogs. Uh, get the one up extra life. No, you don't. The one up's down there, and I don't want to get it. Uh, I forget if this is the one where he jumps in. No. You have to wait two minutes for this fight. I shouldn't even call it a fight because you're not fighting him. Calling this a fight is being very generous because this is not a fight. Also, I'm probably dead. Yep. So, I hope you had fun waiting two minutes. You're going to have to wait two minutes again now. Uh, thankfully, the sequels were smarter about this fight and decided you only had to wait one minute. Uh, but not this game. Not this game. No, sir. Two minutes. Because if you didn't get the point, uh, they, they're sure to drag it out. Do you get it? You wait for him, and then you kill the frogs that he gives birth to. I'm not sure if we made that clear enough. Maybe you should do it for two minutes. Okay, so here we go again. Uh, this girl is getting very wet. Okay, we're fine. Then you gotta kill the babies. Oh. What a situation to be in. Someone said I heard you can win this by hanging over to the right. I don't get that. Listen, I'm playing the game, not you. I know more about this little girl than you do. I have what she doing. Haha, <laughs> get it? Wet? Because she's in water. There's a pool of water at the bottom of the screen, and she's in it right now. Okay, so now the frogs are probably gonna turn this. Don't worry, I don't think this is the end. There's uh, one more, just to make it extra long. Great, oh boy. And this is the one where it's really annoying, because one of these comes out higher up. And we got him all. And now I just gotta wait for this uh, guy. Yeah, hop right in. Okay, bye. And we did it. Wow. Cool stuff. And then the door you go. This is field 14. We don't have any lives, so this game's. Pro oh, I forgot about these. Well, that was actually really uh, good that they didn't kill us. I forgot all about them. Okay. So they come from this thing. They're dead. Uh, it's true, these games are on Steam if you want to play them. They took them down a while back. 
but they're back up now because new people own it. Because the company that originally owned it went bankrupt. Uh, that's uh, Big Mouth Billy Bass. You could buy those uh, at truck stops. Uh, at truck stops, they were really funny. They would sing you songs. talking about when I say that the random enemy spawn system is brilliant. And, you know, it just keeps happening too, so if you like just getting killed because the game decides it, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure I can just make this jump in anyways. Where's the fun in that? Okay, fine. There we go. Uh, this one's really brutal if you end up dying because she gets murdered to death and she gets uh, splattered. It's a, it's a reference to the game Splatterhouse. Also, I think we're fucked. I'm pretty sure we're fucked. Yeah, this is not good. Oh, it didn't even grab it. Well, there we go. Sorry, everybody. I haven't played this in a very long time. Oh, okay, we're really fucked now. If you do this, you can get a little bit higher, but uh, it's very random. There we go, it didn't matter. So we're gonna be stuck here for a while, get ready for that. Because it'll just do that. There we go. Ugh, come on! I, I may as well just kill myself and start the game over, I guess. Okay, well, we're starting over. I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, I have beaten this, but that... Oof, I haven't played it for a very long time. And... The thing with this game is that some of these levels are very good at tricking you, so you have to actually play them a couple times to remember them. So, we're gonna start it again, and then we'll probably just skip to the sequel, because I'm gonna lose again and I know it. Listen, I didn't know what I was gonna play today. It's, it's anime day on Steam. What better way to celebrate? Even though I don't think this game's on sale for Anime Day. Also, for some reason, Guilty Gear is. Uh, I know people say it's an anime fighting game, but I don't even know what that's supposed to mean, because by that logic, so is Street Fighter. Uh, apparently, if you have air dashing in your video game, that makes it anime. And by that logic, I guess the new Clay Fighter game is an anime game, because apparently that has air dashing, so... I don't get the logic, people. What does that even mean? Okay, so we're gonna tricky dip. Oh, I actually didn't get that. Oh, cool. We, oh, we gotta wait now. Do it again. Yeah, the Clay Fighter OVA is pretty good. Uh, by the way, what that was is that all of the enemies, when you grab them, uh, they have physics, so you can actually use them as a counterweight. Uh, this is actually a pretty good Super Nintendo game, it's not bad. Um, if it wasn't so rare, I would probably buy a copy. That was stupid of me. Uh, 
pretty cool. It's not bad. So. Um, you know what? I could download another game too, I guess. There's a... Uh... Oh right, it's not there anymore. Um, there's a pretty fun puzzle game that came out in Japan on Super Nintendo. Uh, you play as a mosquito. It's actually pretty decent. Although that's probably harder than this, the puzzles in there are actually really hard. Where's, where's the snail again? There he is. Get out of here! No, there's a PlayStation version of it. What happened to TVG TV? Some people did not feel like uh, finishing help with bumpers and getting a server set up, so I don't know what we're gonna do, but the entire thing is pretty much ready. It's just uh I don't know some other people do uh, so here's the cool uh, random enemies. Okay, I'm not doing that. Get out. <laughs> Just a little fish joke there. Just a little fish joke for all the viewers. Okay, you go in the door. And... Wow. We beat the level, everybody. And then you get stuck under here, and you don't ever beat the level. There we go. And then you get an acorn tossed at you because uh, eels are known for tossing acorns. Also, please stop spawning enemies. What? Please! Please! Okay. So anyways. Uh, try that again. If you stand in front of an enemy spawn, they won't actually spawn there. Um, but you have very little time to actually do that. Okay, well, can you go away? Thank you. Uh, so this one is very annoying to do. Let's see if we can get it. Okay, well, I don't think we're getting it. Try that again. Oh, shit! No! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, we're not getting it that time. Uh, we got one more... Okay, so there's her friend, the, the invisible eel. The invisible eel, everybody. I thought I blocked him, but I guess not. Go away. Okay, we're gonna try one more time to get this exit. It's very, very annoying, and I hate it. We'll see if we can do it. I think what you're supposed to do is fling yourself onto it. I, yeah, I, oof. Um, try that one more time. Just kidding, we're gonna try it one more time. Uh, wow, that went great. So, we're not gonna try that one more time now. Okay, we'll try it one more time. Uh, by the way, you have to be standing on the ground to get through that door. That's why this is so hard. I forget what the trick to this one is. I know when I watch people run this game, they just go right for it. Yep, we didn't get it. Whoa!
by the way, if the controls look like they're kind of easy to use or not, it's actually... Uh, I almost had that. It's uh, a lot weirder than it may look, because you have to shorten it to fling yourself like that. So you're holding down... It's not like you're swinging from it, it's weird to explain. It. I'm not gonna go for this anymore though, because I forgot how to do it. I'm thinking if I fling myself up there, maybe I could do it. Oh, now you gotta go against this guy. Oh. So here we go again. Uh, what's everybody's favorite fish to eat? Is it, is it uh, salmon? Uh, red snapper? Tuna? Uh, type your answer and maybe win a prize. No, we don't have any prizes inside. Except it's not very peaceful, despite the music seeming very peaceful. It's actually a really frustrating game. Okay, well, that works, so I don't get a heck. Um, we gotta do two more rounds of this. We got them all. All of our frog buddies. Who's Casey? Listen you, I don't give a heck about hanging from the right. I do this my own way! Oh! Oh no! His baby's gonna kill me! His baby's gonna kill me! Okay, we're fine. Get out! Okay, we're fine. Uh, we could go down for the 1-up, but I don't feel like it. Because if I ended up dying going to get it, we'd have to do it all over. Oh, I forget about those every time! Oh! Sorry, everybody, I forgot which one this was. That's a, that's a fun little trick when you've never played this one before. You get to be fooled by it every single time. And I just got fooled there because I forgot where they hit you. Uh, that's unfortunately the nature of this game. You do have to play levels a couple times to understand things about them. Like that. I'm dead three times now against the same thing. Because uh, I didn't think they went that high. Let's watch again. Okay. Uh, so we're fucked here. Here we go. Well, we're dead. For sure, we're dead. Okay. <laughs> so, let's, uh... Let's be quicker about this and not get stuck. Okay. Pretty sure they don't hit you here. Okay, well... Let it be known that they do hit you there. Okay, let it be known that they do hit you there! Uh... So I'm doing worse than last time just because of this. And the first time I forgot these guys were even here. How about that? Okay, go away. It's uh, it's called uh, flibble cancel. That's when you let them bump you around. Okay, so we're gonna swing our way down here. Well, that was bad. Try that again. Uh, let's try that again. Uh, also, getting juggled by enemies like that, you have to do that in some of these boss fights. 
because of how they work. It's actually a strategy you have to pick up on. The game expects you to do that. Okay, so let's head up here. Oh, right. I forgot. Let do that. Go away. No. No! No! Okay, then you go up here. Wow. That wasn't so bad. So here's a uh, fun land again. Here's a random fish friend. You can go away. See, everything's fine. We're having a good time. Happy music. There's our eel friend. I don't like him very much. He's kind of a fucker. That's why. But now we'll just go up here. And we don't have to deal with his uh, goofs anymore. Maybe we will. I don't know. I, uh, I don't feel confident in anything I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna take it slow and steady. Okay. Just... just uh, got him! Okay. We're gonna head up here. We're gonna go up here. Um... Is that the secret exit, I guess? I guess I should go over there to do it. Something goofed it. Okay, you head over here. Head over here. Go away. Oh, okay, or drag me into your fish friend. That's fine too. You can play this one however you want. Okay, so let's try this again. Oh! Oh! Alright, so let's try this again. Okay, well, it's fine. She doesn't need to grab the ledge sometimes. So, uh, I guess this is the stage we're just going to lose on both times, huh? There we go, she did it. I'm so proud of you, little Umahara. You're, you're not... I hate you. Okay, here we go. We gotta get rid of the eel man. I don't like this because this is us waiting out a pattern right now, and that's never fun. Because these two are not synchronized, which is really annoying. I wonder if you can get crushed? I never actually tried before. Well, I didn't grab him anyway, so that's not good. There is a timer, uh, but it'll all be alright. Got him. Okay, bye everybody. <laughs> well, at least the eel's gone. At least the eel's gone, am I right everybody? Oh, at least it spawned an enemy there, right everybody? Okay, well that's Umahara whatever. Uh, personally, I I feel that a game mechanic where it randomly spawns enemies where you are to kill you immediately is a very good idea, and most games should have it. Okay, so we're moving on to our next game now. This one's a, a little bit different. Um, this one is much different from the other one. This is not the same game. Uh, this one is called, uh, Mumara, uh, something. In this game you play as a little girl. Uh, because, uh, they're, uh, what's, what do they say, Sugoi? Kawaii? What's the Lead Street Boy song? She's so kawaii, that one. That's, uh, this game is based off that song. Yes, this is the Elite Street Boys video game. Here today for you. How do I start the game? How do I start the game? Let me start the game. I'm hitting every... There we go. Okay, so we're starting the video game. It's very loud, so we'll have to turn it down. 
Okay, so welcome to uh, Wumamara. Uh, as you can see, this game looks nicer. It has little crayon drawings. Uh, this, are, this is our new fish friend. He's a lot better than the old one. And when you hit him, he has lemons over his head. Alright. Oh! I... Oh. Well, that was close. I forgot my controls for a second. Because for whatever reason, it's mapped uh, the way I would not expect it to be. That being, uh, it's Z and X. And the other one was not. Okay. Isn't the secret exit up there? Uh, there's always secret exits in this game. Pretty sure that's the secret exit. Yeah, show me the stage map. What? Oh, okay, that's not what I thought that meant. I'm pretty sure that's a secret exit. Uh, but how do you get there? I don't know. Well, not by doing that, that's for sure. Uh, this is for PlayStation 1, if you ever want to purchase it. Okay, that was good. So we're gonna get the secret exit here today. It'll just take a few hundred tries. So let's try that again. Uh, attempt number five. Okay, attempt number six. We'll get it this time. I'm feeling it this time. Uh, here, here's uh, attempt number six. Here we go. Okay, attempt number seven. I'm feeling it this time. So attempt number seven. This is it for sure. Seven's a lucky number. We'll get it. So here it is. Attempt number seven. Okay, and we got it. Wow. So uh, the trick to swinging up these is that you go the opposite direction of where you want to be. So you go under that. And then it doesn't work. But it's okay, we'll get to work this time. Uh, part of it is because of how you bounce in this game. Okay, we'll get it this time. 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 There we go. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? It was pretty bad. Okay, well, we'll get over here with no problem. Okay, so we're gonna do this whole thing over again. Someone said the physics look weird. That's because they are. They're very weird. Uh, I'm just sort of used to them, but even then, I'm not even landing the hook on this, because it's... Uh, unlike the first secret exit in the first game, this is a really obnoxious one, because you have to be perfect with everything to get it. Also, your movement, you have to pick up momentum in this game, unlike the first one. So, uh, getting up there is harder. So, let's try this again. We're gonna run out of time, by the way. Oh, and I forgot my controls. Whoops. So, time to just restart because that was stupid. Here we go. We're trying it again. The secret exit. We'll get it this time, I swear. Okay. So, if you're wondering what all the Japanese text says, it says fish. Over and over again. It all says fish. Every little bit of it. But don't don't quote me on that. Not that I'm lying, but I might be lying. Okay, so we're gonna do that again. All right, here it is, the secret exit. Are you ready for it? Okay, and then you, and then you, and then you, and then you. And then you do a little bit of that. Come on! 
We'll get it, don't worry. This is kids stuff. This is nothing. This is this is child's play. There we go. See that wasn't so bad. There we go. That's the spot. So this is really annoying because you need to you need to swing yourself a certain way to do this. Okay, we got it. And then you need to settle down a little bit, just a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, and then uh, we're almost there, everybody. Uh, the exit is right over there. So what we need to do is we need to... Oh, 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 no! We gotta do it all over! We gotta do it all over! That's the secret exit, everybody. That's what they expect from you. Uh, if you think, wow, that's really precise and really obnoxious, that's the point. So, time to try that again. We'll get it this time. Hit my head. Okay, so here, here it is. We're getting it this time. Coming out of the woodwork. We're gonna get it this time for sure. Wow! See. That's not so bad. Uh, oh, no! See, it's not so bad. So we'll get it this time. See, we'll get it this time. There we go. We'll get it this time. See? Easy does it. right over there and then you miss it because it didn't swing it right but we'll get it this time it's not so bad this game is very relaxing and not frustrating in any way I mean just listen to it it's very calm Got it this time. Oh Jesus. Okay, so we got it this time. For sure we got it this time. Whoa! 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 Okay, we got it this time. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! 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 We got it! Now we just gotta get up there. Oh, okay. So to get up there, oh god, uh, to get up there you do that, no, no, oh, please, uh, no, there we go, oh, oh, okay, so anyways, that's the secret exit, pretty easy, uh, so here's level 11, we got lots of fishy friends here. Now we don't. We don't have any more friends. Okay. Uh, these are our buddies from the last game. You may have remembered them. They're still fuckers, so don't worry. Uh, I wonder if that kills me if I touch it? It doesn't. Okay. That was a little, a little uncomfortable. Uh, am I able to... Well, that was a bad way to find out. Let's try that again. I don't think I can. Okay. Now we're gonna stretch this out. Oh! And we can just not grab anything! That works too. 
Well, this is uh, this is where tricky roping comes in. If you know what you're doing, you could still salvage this. Uh, I don't think I can do it though. Whoa. This is very, very hard. This is the worst spot to be in. Holy cow! Okay, well we saved it, everybody. Uh, so here's floor 23. This is, uh, this is the eel man again. Uh, these are the funny gums. They're my favorite shape. Uh, this also introduces these new new floor types where it's really obnoxious. Uh, is there three exits on this one? I don't even remember. There's a few exits here, and they're all very annoying to get to, except for one of them. So uh, let's let's see. Let's see which one we can do. This one you gotta time it right. Okay, here we go. Okay, we'll get up there. Don't worry. So you you loop. Okay. Oh. Okay. We'll try that again. Okay. So you. And then you want to go up here. And you and then you bounce your way up. Okay. And then you bounce your way up. No. No big deal. So you, you do it again. Uh, just because you want to show how easy it is. And then you jump down here. And you, and you go. No big deal. So now we're at field 9 for some reason. Here's our friend the tadpole. He's back. Oh boy. So, if you remember this fight, it's the exact same thing, except it doesn't take as long, because they were nice about it this time. Uh, this time you only have to fight him for one minute. So, I think we do one more round and he's done. Uh, this game controls a little bit weirder than the first one, but I like the look of it, and uh, it's a lot more forgiving, which you can you can be the judge if that's a good thing or not. Uh, something I'll give it credit for: the the random enemy spawning isn't a problem really in this one, and that's the worst part of the first one. So this this uh, stage has a fish bucket on it. There it is, the fish bucket. Oh, we got hit by it, but it's okay. Let's try that again. Get out of here. Okay. So uh, if you're wondering where all the snails are, don't worry, they're back now. That was strategic, by the way. That was not. That was not an accident. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna get up here. Look, a random enemy spawn, and that was it. It's your one random enemy spawn so far. Oh, did we really get stuck on it? Okay. Well, that was forgiving. It didn't hit us. There's a random enemy. It's gone. There's a snail. It's gone. See, this isn't so bad. Oh, that! Oh, get out! Whoa! Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa! Oh, oh. Okay, we're fine. So let's head up here now, why don't we? Go away! Okay, we'll go in the door now. Oh, so this is field 15. I guess we went backwards or something? I don't know. Let's see this guy. This guy's the he's the real turd of this game because if you get underneath him, he'll drop down on you. Fuck off. 
Okay, so this is a uh, Shark Boy from Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Okay, that was Shark Boy from Shark Boy and Lava Girl. We're gonna go down this ladder. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I I forgot that there is a little bit of time where you're not allowed to use your hook in this when you get hit. We'll try that again. Okay, here's Shark Boy. Okay, bye, Shark Boy. So we're gonna go down here, and you gotta watch out for this guy. He's a real fucker. He's also dead. And this guy can go away. Or not. Okay. Uh, did I say the random enemy spawns aren't as bad in this one? Okay, well, I stick to that. They're not that bad in this one. This is a really tricky one. You gotta, you gotta do a bunch of these to get up there. Okay, well now we're even lower. Uh, so these are pretty hard to get. Because they're not very consistent. Okay, well... You know what? I take back what I said. The random enemy spawns are just as annoying, and it's a stupid idea for a video game. Never mind. Also, Shark Boy can throw fish. Little things you probably didn't know, but I guess if you saw the movie, you might know that. He does do it at one point in the movie. Go away. Okay, go away. Okay, we'll do a little bit of this. Get some hang time in there. And now we got it up there. Okay, see, we almost got it. We're doing it. Okay, I don't think we're actually gaining any height. But I'll keep trying. How do you spell this game's name? It's Umahara. Uh, U U Umahara. Did that help? No. No. Why am I even trying to go this way? This is the stupid way I'm doing it. I just fling myself over. Oh, does she not like grabbing these? Oh god, she doesn't like grabbing these as ledges. Okay, well, now we're gonna be stuck here for a while. Okay. We're fine. No problem. Thing is, you need to know the physics if you're ever gonna get out of a spot like that. That's how the game works. Oh, and we made it. Wow. It's like we didn't need to go that way. I was wasting my time. Alright, so here's field 18. Please? Please? Uh, please? Oh, whatever. Okay, so here's a little trick. Whoa! So you, you whip dip and you get your way up. We'll tip some tricks. Okay, snails are the real fuckers in this game because when they appear, they never go away. They're the only random enemy spawn that does that. Oh god! Well, at least we got the eel. We'll always have that. Here we go again. There's no more eel. Okay, well now there's a snail though. Okay, but now there's nothing. Everything's fine. Nothing's a problem. Why do I remember this being weird? Oh, oh god. Oh god, there's snails. There's snails everywhere. 
Holy, oh shit, get out. Get out! Okay, so now there's no more snails. That one fell in the water. He'll be all right. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. And you do a little loop de loop. Uh, whoever said the physics in this look weird, they are weird, but they they actually don't feel too bad once you get used to them. Uh, we're gonna go for the hard, hard, hard exit, because, uh, may as well, we have a lot of lives, let's fuck everything up. Okay, so, uh, first lesson, I should have had it shorter because you have to wait the entire length of it being out to get it back. Uh, second lesson, I should have maybe been paying attention to the game instead of talking there because I just fell right in the water, but we're fine. So let's try this again. Okay, cool. Let's try that again. Okay, snail. Let's try that again. Okay, here we go. Wow, we made it. Uh, here's another thing to know. Rope mechanics in games are actually really, really fun. More people need to do them. Uh, worms? Worms Armageddon, at least. Had a pretty good rope system. It was fun. Um, there's a Super Nintendo game called Pack in Time that was actually kind of fun. Because you could just throw yourself everywhere. Uh, more games need them. They're fun. We'll just do a whole game dedicated to it like this. It's, uh, it's good enough as a concept to just stand on its own. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. This is gonna be really risky. And we got it. No problem. Too easy. Okay, so this is gonna be really stressful. But I believe, I believe in us that we can do Ooh, it. Okay. Oh, hey, look. Oh, you know, just a snail. You know, not a problem. Okay. Oh, d just a snail. Oh, ju just another snail. Not a problem. Okay, so anyways, we'll try this again. Okay, bye, everybody. Guess we're gonna try that again. Oops. Come on. Don't be shy. It's all right. You can grab the ledge. You're not far away from it. There goes the eel. He's a piece of shit anyways. Oh! Whoa, okay. So I guess we landed on the snail. Uh, those snails don't start there, but I guess they were there. So, whoops. So, let's get up there. I believe, I believe we can do it. I believe we can get that secret exit. And I base this completely on nothing. But I think we can. I don't know. Something just tells me we can do it. Look, that snail was kind enough to leave even though they're never supposed to go away. And that one fell in the water. I wonder who did that to him. And I'm gonna go up here. I'm grabbing that. Oh, oh! Well, we're not gonna probably get up here because I'm facing the wrong way. Let's, uh, let's 
get up here at least. Or, you know, don't. You know, you don't have to grab the land, but it's fine. I mean, if you don't want to live. I mean, that's your decision, I guess. Alright, let's try that again. Okay! Well, that wasn't right, but we'll go with it. Okay, and you don't need to shoot it up. It's fine. So let's try that again. I remember this one not even being so bad, but maybe I never took the secret exit. Here. Oh, the eel threw an acorn. And he fell in the water. Oh, not the water, but whatever. Okay, so we gotta get over this. There goes our snail friend. Oh, but it's okay, we got another one. How much you wanna bet I'm gonna swing into him by accident? What am I even doing? Oh, um, I guess I didn't want to waste time with that. There we go. Alright, so here we go, everybody. We got it this time for sure. Oh, okay. Uh, try that again. So we got this for sure. It's in the bag this time. Nope, 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 okay. It's in the bag this time, no problem. I mean, how could you possibly mess this up? How could you- please settle down. Okay, how could you mess this up? I mean, there, there's very little room to screw this up in any kind of way. Okay, so uh, we need to swing out a little bit, but not too much. Oh, you know, it's just some snails. You know, just some snails. I mean, we're on a timer, but it's fine. You know, just keep making snails, why not? Oh, there's another snail. It's okay, it's just a snail, everybody. We can wait. Okay, so let's try that. Oh, oh, oh. Let's try that again. It's just a snail, everybody. It's just a snail. Oh, it's just a snail. Don't worry, we can, we can wait a minute. Oh, it's just a snail. Don't worry, we can wait a minute. Okay. See, that wasn't so bad. Also, she can just miss it because it's a 3D game and I didn't notice the perspective on it. It was wonky. So, we'll do that all over again. Why not? Or we can just fall in the water. We're doing pretty good. So you might be saying to yourself now, you don't have any lives left. You probably shouldn't try that secret exit again. Okay. Well, that's cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Oh, oh, eel friend. Okay, so we're gonna get a. Th I swear to God, if it spawned that right on me, I would have been really angry. Um, as much as I like this game, I'm gonna say it again. That is one of the stupidest design decisions I've ever seen for a video game. Just design your level to be hard. Don't make it randomly spawn things. Oh, I'm dead now because of that. I'm not going to be able to survive that. Because snails... Oh, it actually went away. Snails aren't supposed to go away when they spawn. Maybe they go away in this one. The first game, snails never leave if they spawn. And uh, enemies spawn all the time in the first game, so it's really annoying. Also, that was really risky. She might not have grabbed it. Okay, there we go. We got it this time! Wait, what am I doing? I could just use this ladder, couldn't I? Can I just go up here and go around? I think I can. Have I been an idiot this whole time and doing it the wrong way? No, there's a wall there. Never mind. It seems like it would be that easy, but it isn't. There's a whole lot of depth to this game. This is a horrible way of going about it. What am I doing? Uh, 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 that was really close. Okay. Oh, it's just a snail. Holy moly.
This is really scary. I don't know how I'm gonna get up there. I could go the slow way, but I'm gonna probably goof it. Yep, I goofed it. Well, let's try that again. Now if you say, what? This game has continues. Well, keep in mind how many lives you have in the first one compared to this one. So it doesn't really make any difference. Although I never really understood in some games when there's lives and continues. Uh, some it makes sense because it's like, oh, you have to start the level all over because you continued, as opposed to just dying. But uh, in this game, it doesn't make any difference, so I don't know why it's a thing. But whatever, I'll go with it. So now we can try the secret exit a million more times and fail. Which is, uh bad because this isn't even that hard of a part. Uh, there's a boss fight coming up. If I think I'm going the right path, there's a lot of different paths in this game. Um, if I'm going the path I think I'm taking, there's a really annoying boss that I'm not looking forward to. Oh, it's just a snake. Okay. Take your time, little bird boy. Okay, you're gone. Let's try that again. Oh, it's just a snail. Let's just wait out the clock again. No, he went the other way, thank god. Okay. There's no story. I know it looks like it would have a plot, but there is no actual plot to the game. If you read the manual, there's nothing. There's no story. Yo, it's Thursday, not Wednesday. I know, we couldn't do it yesterday. I'm sorry. Oh, wow, that's cool. Oh, oh! Uh, the nice thing is that at least some of us have a lot of free time this week, so we might... Are you serious? Okay, well... I'm actually starting to get a little bit frustrated because of that. I don't really want to play this now after that happened. Um... There's, that, there's those situations that come up in games where you go, oh... There was nothing I could have done there, and when you get one of those, you kind of don't want to play anymore. That's seriously the only thing I can complain about. I really like the physics, uh, even if they're kind of weird. These games look nice, they're fun, I like them. Uh, if I was ever going to recommend a game with a little anime girl in it, this would be it. There we go! There we go! I don't think I took the path that I wanted to go. Oh well. Guess we're doing this one. A uh, funny thing about the first game, if you really are desperate to beat it, um, you actually get a room after 30 minutes pass. So if you're really, really bad at it, you can just wait the clock out and get the 30 minute room and just beat the game that way. This game doesn't have that though. Only the first one did. This is not the room I was expecting. This is completely different. Uh, also, those are spikes. That's probably not very clear. I remember I died to those because I thought they were just the background decoration. I also don't know how safe this is to do right now. Oh, 
I missed it! Oh, shit! Well, I didn't see that coming. But now we know where the door is. Let's try that again. Come on. Uh, that's a really fun thing she can do sometimes. She's in the position to grab the ledge, but she just won't do it. That's uh, another quirk to this game. Oh, god. That was really close. Okay, so we're gonna just drop right down. Why didn't she do it? Ugh. Grab the ledge! What are you doing? There you go. I'm actually wondering what I'm supposed to do down here now that I'm here. Uh, I guess I should just have this. Oh, don't tell me it expects me to hold it. Oh, come on, go away! Go away! So, oh my, that's gonna kill me though. Don't tell me this is the only way to go. Oh, it is. Oh, this isn't even the good exit. This is the bad exit. So up there was the good exit and I went completely the wrong way. Sorry, everybody. I wanted to go the secret way, but I didn't. Oh my god, come on. Come on. Don't tell me I'm stuck here. Well, we might be stuck. Oh, there. Oh! Oh! Okay, let's just go in. There's no way out of here. Unless I want to kill myself. So, this is field 28. Uh, I think we're nearing the end. There's usually a boss fight, and then one more floor after. So I think this is one before that. Okay, I can stand on this. No. There we go. Here. It's the stream quiet. Is the game quiet or am I quiet? Here, I'll. Oh, it is quiet. Uh, did that fix it up? Is that better or is that worse? Oh shit! Okay. Okay, so this is a loopy one. Actually, it sounds quite. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Do you mean my microphone's. Oh shit! Uh, let me try turning the game down, I guess. Is that better? Is that better? Uh, by the way, your fishing hook can break if it gets stuck in the right way. Oh, fuck! Well, let's try that again. Okay. There we go. Bunch of loopy- Oh! Bunch of loopy ropers. Your mic is fine, the game is even quiet. Oh, I turned it down because I thought you guys were saying my mic was quiet. OK. 
Okay, let's just go through here. Finish stage 20, not able to continue. Oh, what does that mean? Why am I able to continue two times? Field 32. If I remember right, this is around the end of the game now. Game is too quiet. Holy moly! Okay, is that better? Are we all satisfied? We all happy? We all doing good? Oh no! And that was the end of her. So here we go again. Oh, there's a there's a one up there. Too bad my line was out too far. Ugh. Uh, so one of the quirks to this game that you need to the game is still quiet. No, it isn't. I have it turned up all the way. Don't don't uh don't start memeing on me. Uh, so anyways. Um, if your line is extended all the way and you try to use it again, you're just not able to because you have to wait for it to go back into your bag. So you never want to have it out too far. This is a little bit annoying. Oh, oh, cool. There's a snail too. There we go. That's how you're going to get it. And then we got it. There's the one up. Wow. We got back the, the life that we took trying to get it to begin with. And then if you face the opposite side where you're trying to go, like this, you go the opposite way, you're trying to loop around, and then you... Whoop, whoop, duh, oh, you do that, you do a little loopy. Okay, there goes the snail. He fell in the water. Okay, well I guess I didn't need to do that. This is field 33. I hope this game is worth the times it's stealing from your life. Well, if I wasn't playing this, I'd be playing a different game, so I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, I am not liking this. Well, I didn't mean to go diagonal, but... So this is going to be a very annoying one, because you have to be so precise with it. I don't think I can grab that. Nope. There we go. Holy moly. I'm actually kind of worried about which one I think this is right now. Because I remember this being on a stage I didn't like. But then again, I haven't played this in like a year and a half. So I could be wrong. Ugh, come on. This is not good at all. Oh my god, I just need her to grab that. But she isn't doing it. Come on, grab it! Grab it! Oh, oh my god. There we go. Jesus Christ. Okay, so we're up here now. But then she doesn't want to grab it, so we're going to have to do a little bit of this. Come on. There you go. Okay, grab the fish. Oh. Don't tell me that's this whole level. It's precision like this. It is. Oof. 
Oh. Oh. Oh! So we get to do that all over again. Okay. But we learned a lesson this time. Just, uh, gotta take it easier. Oh my god! Okay. Thankfully, we didn't fall in the water. Now I gotta wait for this chicken leg fish to get out of here. Oh, wait, here's another one. Okay, so we gotta wait for this one. Okay. And... Got it. Okay. And we gotta take this one slower. Get out of here. Get out of here! Okay, so we're gonna go down here and get in there. Field 34. I don't know what those are. Oh no. I think it's expecting me to walk over those. Uh, oof. Well, let's take a gamble and see if that's what it. Yeah. God! Razor, don't have a stupid pop-up for your dumb driver updating. I don't care. I shouldn't have to download that anyways for a stupid mouse. Okay. So anyways. Uh, oh. I don't like the look of that. Uh. Is that the secret exit? It is. Mm. I don't... That's a really hard one to get. Yeah, I... I don't want to do this the other way. Oh, neat. Okay, here we go. Come on. We're gonna do a little bit of this. That wasn't at all what I needed. Okay, and then she didn't grab it. There's a bunch of fishy friends that we're never gonna see again. Uh. They don't actually give you enough room to do this properly! I didn't grab the right one! Oh my god. That was really lucky. That was really lucky. Okay, well, this is annoying. Oh, I'm an idiot! Why didn't I just do that? I guess I didn't figure I could hit it from there. Oh my god. We're gonna we're gonna scoot our way up here. Yeah, like that. And then oh god. Okay. All time for this. Holy moly. Oh, 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 oh. Go in the door. Okay, we're fine. See that wasn't so bad. Field 38. It just never ends. Okay, so uh, these are the slippery blocks. You don't want to stand on these. So I probably shouldn't even bother going that way. I'm, uh, let's, uh, let's meme it. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh, I guess I didn't make any difference. Oh, Jesus. These are timed. Let's see, you can't grab those. Oh, that would have been bad. Oh, 
Oh! Please get up. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Please. Please grab the ledge. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, you're fine. Okay. There we go, we're over. Alright, uh, here's the fish boy. You can go away. He's gone. He's gone too. Uh, mm. All that. Oh, okay. I. You know, that 3D perspective makes you think there isn't a wall there. There was. So, oops. Uh, if you ever wanted to watch a little girl get crushed to death, there you go. The first game I remember was even better about it because they don't have her poof in the smoke, she just dies. Okay, we're fine. Oh, is there a door up there? Ah, uh, now I kind of want that. I didn't know there's a door up there. Okay, let's uh, extend this. There we go. See, if you're tricky enough, you can easily get up there without having to do it the way they want you to. Maybe not. Uh, Jesus, what am I supposed to do from here? Yeah, you can't grab that, so I gotta figure out what to even do when I get up there. Well, that was bad. <laughs> We're gonna get up there, don't worry. We will get up there. We will get up there. We will. We will. We will get up there. There we go, see? No problem. Uh, now the problem is how are we supposed to actually get up there? I don't actually know. Because you can't grab those walls. Well, I'm guessing I just have to go around. Something tells me I, I misread that as a secret exit. Okay, let's try this again. And then there's timed things up here that already went away. No. No! Oh, well, that works. I guess there is a way to get... Oh, I was supposed to... Okay. Well, I see how I was supposed to get there now. Uh, I don't like the look of this one. Also, uh, this background is a bad sign because this is the boss background. So I think we got a boss fight coming soon. You're probably wondering, what am I supposed to do here? Um, I actually am not supposed to... I, I don't know. I'm supposed to grab the underside of that, I would imagine. But this thing's in the way, so... I guess we're not going to do that. Don't tell me I have to wait this out until I actually can get up it. I might have to. That would be really stupid if that's what they're expecting. Because these aren't synchronized. Oh boy. Well, we're gonna see. We might be on the next one. Okay, not that one. 
Oh my god, come on! Oh, no. Ugh, let's just go this way. <laughs> or not. Alright, let's just try this again. Oh, you don't want to get up there, do you? Okay, and you don't want to go diagonal, so let's try that again. Okay, diagonal. That wasn't diagonal. Do you want to actually shoot it diagonally this time? <sighs> so we just wasted three lives to figure out that I don't think you can even go that way. But then the question is, what are you even supposed to do? I don't know. Let's see if I can do this. Wow, that didn't get me the air I needed. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Wow, that didn't get me the air I needed at all. Okay, please get out of the way. Wow, this really isn't working. Let's try that again. There we go, a little bit better. Diagonally climb before. I don't think you have feasibly enough time to actually do that. I know it seems like maybe that would be possible, but I don't actually feasibly think you have enough time for that because of how the physics in this work. So I'm, I'm going to be doing it this way for now. So, whatever the solution this was supposed to be, I'm just going this way. I, I don't need your solution. That would have been horrible if that just hit me. Well, we didn't grab any of it, so even if you do that, it doesn't get you far enough over. Can you just grab it? There we go. We need to whip ourselves up there. There we go. That's all we needed. Getting ourselves over to the right from here is going to be hard though. And I just wasted my time. Because now I gotta do it all over. You know what? Can we just see if we can make this? Why is it so perfectly out of the way? Something tells me you can jump for it, you just need to be lined up absolutely perfect. Yep, I knew it. It's just one of those stupid pixel perfect things. Hey. <sighs> I'm going this way because I know what it wants me to do. I just don't like the looks of it. So this is safer, except, except, uh, except we got a little snail now. So now it's not safer. In fact, now it's impossible. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, you know, the random, the random enemy spawn system is a very cool idea. I love it. 
So nobody that played this ever. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, baby, we made it. Now Shark Boy's up there and he's gonna hit us with the thing. So this is uh, really risky right now and I don't like it. Can I grab where I need to grab? I can almost get it. Right, that's as good as it's gonna get. Oh my god, this is so... Ugh! Got him! No! No! Okay. So we just got everything. I was hoping there could have been a one-up back there, but there wasn't. No, fine. There. You're out of here. What? Oh! Jesus. No! Oh my god. Okay, let's get out of here. <gasps> well, we beat it. There you go, everybody. That was Umaharu Mamamasi. Uh, I didn't actually think that was the ending. We didn't play the boss. Uh, so there you go, everybody. We actually beat it. I wasn't expecting that. So there you go. Umaharu. Uh... Wow. Uh, by the way, there's an animated sequence on that TV that's actually pretty detailed, but it's, uh... Like, there's a video file built into the game that has it, but that's the only way you get to see it here, is distorted like that on a little TV. There's only one boss in this game? No, there's actually multiple bosses. I guess the path I went down, I just so happened to not run into any of them. There was a squid boss I was a really I was really afraid of fighting because the way the squid boss works is that it spawns a bunch of them and they dive at you. And you have to trick them into bumping you up into the exit, which I really hate. Are you gonna play the 3D one? I'll make a confession, I don't actually like the 3DS one as much. Um, there's a lot of tutorials at the beginning. You can skip over it, like you can turn off the tutorial messages, but you still have to play through the tutorial levels, which aren't very fun. It's uh, it's much more broken up. It's not like arcadey where you just go through it in one go. So I'm probably not gonna play the 3D ones. Uh, I like this one a lot though. I like the PlayStation one. The Super Nintendo one I like. My only issue with that one is the random spawns are even worse than that one. Um, but these are good games. They're they're pretty fun. Uh, I think they're back on Steam now. They took them down for a while, so these were actually really hard to have in your library because they were only on sale for a little bit. But I think they're up now on Steam. I would I would pick them up. Like I would definitely recommend these games. They're really good. Um, and this is me recommending a game with uh, a little anime girl in it. So there you go. You you know you're actually getting in for something that's all right. Are they in the anime sale? I was just joking. I was just playing these because I happen to have them. If they're in the anime sale, that's great. There there's no excuse to not pick these up then. Um, the first and second ones are worth getting for sure. If they have the whole bundle, just go for it. You might end up liking the 3D one, I just don't care for it too much compared to the first two. Um, but that's the thing, like, th these games are worth it for sure. Guilty Gear, I know, is in the anime sale for whatever reason. Uh, I guess if anything's Japanese, it's anime. But, uh, if you want to get that too, Guilty Gear is pretty good. Um... I gotta figure out something else to play now. I didn't actually think I was gonna beat it. 
I haven't played this in such a long time. I didn't think I'd get through it. So, uh, all right, time to pick out another game. I got really surprised. It popped up the little achievement in the corner. I didn't think that was really it. What do you know? Uh, I guess we'll just have some cooldown time. Oh. Well, give me a bit here. I guess I, I have family sharing on Steam on here because the, the best gamers account, whoever the guy was running it, between all of us had set it up that all of our Steam accounts were sharing with it. Um, I have the password to it now, though. Uh, two of us have the password to it, so I guess I'll go on there and if I remember it. I thought I remembered it. Um, I guess I'll just go on there because I want to play a game that's only on that account it was set up to share but for some reason now it's saying I need to request access to all the games again even though they worked before I don't know what's up with that I guess it was when the laptop broke someone tried logging into the account oh what about Jet Set Radio that's not a bad idea that would actually be pretty fun to play um, I just have to find a controller Guilty Gear 2. Is Guilty Gear 2 the one that's in the anime bundle, or is it uh, Xrd? Because Xrd is actually really, really good. I don't know. Zard? Zerd? Xrd? I don't know how you're supposed to say it. It's uh, That one's amazing, though. Like If I was going to recommend any fighting game in the past 10 years, that would be the one I'd recommend. Um, Guilty Gear 2 is really weird because it's a combination of the fighting that was in the 2d games but in a 3d environment and also it's an rts it's really really unusual it was way too ambitious they didn't pull off what they really wanted with it uh i wouldn't really recommend it it's kind of maybe you would have fun with it i kind of got a kick out of a couple things in it but i wouldn't overall recommend it it's pretty unusual I wish they put Jet Set Radio Future on Steam. So does the guy who composed the music for it. I think everybody wants it. Why don't I remember this? Oh, because that's not the account. I'm being a dummy. Okay, hang on. Uh, Jet Set Radio might be worth playing, though. Or any other small games, I guess. Um, we'll play a quick game of this, I guess, and then we'll do some Jet Set Radio. So hang on, let me. If this is even gonna boot up. X two is on set. X two doesn't have online. I was really frustrated to find that out because I was always playing X2 on the PC just because uh, there was a fan-made patch for online play, so it was great. The Steam release doesn't use it, so you have to go out of your way to patch the game on your own to have online play, so at that point it's like, why did I even buy it? So that's disappointing about it. Um, what is this doing? Oh, there we go, it ran it. Um, so this game, I actually, a whole bunch of us like it. Uh, we had it in the raffle a few times, but everyone was like, oh, is that, that sounds really lame. And it's because they did choose a really stupid name for it, and that's their own fault that this game didn't do well because it's actually not a bad game at all I like it a lot it's pretty fun but they were not smart about it it's like Tetris Attack Tetris Attack is amazing it's a really good game it's like one of my favorite puzzle games but the thing with Tetris Attack was 
they called a Tetris attack. So when I was a dumb little kid, I saw it and I went, oh, I already have Tetris. Why would I, I don't want Tetris attack. So uh, don't put a name together like that. Don't try to make it sound like it's Tetris when it isn't. Also, for some reason, this is running really slow. I don't know what's going on in Hylix. I would play that sometime, I guess. It's an RPG, so it probably wouldn't be as fun to watch, though. That game's great, though. It's only two hours long, too, so it's right size. Okay, so, uh, I guess I'm just gonna play around with this. I don't remember it too well, but it's, uh, it's actually kind of decent. It has good music. It looks nice. Uh, it is just a puzzle game, like, it's really simple, but I think it was, like, a dollar when I got it, so I don't mind it. But it's really simple. You just uh, try to connect the pieces together like that. And the boxes extend it longer. Yeah, the laptop fan is going crazy. I don't know why. Something set it off from this. Uh, this game is pretty decent. I actually like it. It was a pleasant surprise. I bought it just for the sake of verifying my Steam account because it was cheap. But uh, I was surprised to find out it's actually kind of a decent game. So that's always nice. Uh, the music's really good. It's uh, probably the best part about it. Gotta get this away so you don't have to hear the fan. It's probably because I've been running a lot in here today, anyways. Um, I've been trying to record stuff for a video, so today wasn't so good for the laptop. Uh, but this game's pretty fun. It's very simple, but it's entertaining. Um, I'll try to find a controller in a bit, and I'll give Jet Set Radio a go. I wonder if I still have my save file. Um, when it came out on Steam, we had, on the Best Gamers account, I think we had like the top scores during the first week. But that game's really easy anyways, if you're actually trying to do any of that. Because all you do is grind in a circle, there isn't any strategy to it or anything. So that's how you unlock the characters. You gotta do it. Also, you, uh, the reason those X's appeared is because I lined up the wrong colors, but actually sometimes it's a good idea to do it. Um, I don't know what else to really say, I guess. Uh, this music's really nice. I forgot how good it is. Forgot how good it is. I think that was the biggest part of why this was a surprise. I was I really like the music in this. And it's uh it's sad when you find something like that. And you wish you were aware of it sooner. Uh like there's a Dreamcast game I only just remembered existing a little while back. Uh it's called what was it? Cool Cool Tune, I think was the name of it. It was a game SNK made. Like, they did Metal Slug, King of Fighters, and everything. And it was just before they went under and got bought out the first time. Um, it's the first time because some Chinese company invested into them now. So they're not doing Pachinko anymore, they're doing new King of Fighters. Uh, but they did a rhythm game on Dreamcast, and it's... It looks, like, really nice. It, it has a really good visual style to it, and it's actually a pretty fun concept for a rhythm game, so if you have a Dreamcast, it's worth burning a copy of it. It's, uh, it's called Cool Cool Tune. Look it up. It's actually not bad. Uh, I've been playing a lot of games lately, which isn't good because I'm behind on a lot of work, but whatever. Also, I've been trying to do a video, so that's been eating up time. Uh, but I got a lot of free time this week for once, so 
I can actually work on something. I am not doing so well. But that's to be expected when I haven't played this in a long time. I'm sorry everybody, I'm letting you all down. We'll always have Umahara! We'll always have Umahara! Ugh! Okay, let's give it one more try. Cool, cool tune. Tune. Like cartoon. That's the name of it. Uh, yeah, look it up. It's really cool. As the name suggests. <laughs> <coughs> no, it's, uh, it looks nice. The thing is, too, it, I was surprised by it. it uh, they did a really nice job. It looks more like a middle-of-the-road PS2 title than it does look like a metal Dreamcast title. And uh, it, it's cool how it plays. It's unique. I've never played anything that really worked like it. So it's too bad that that's the only one they ever did. They did a Neo Geo Pocket version of it, but it doesn't play the same way at all. And it doesn't look anywhere like the Dreamcast one. It's, uh, it's not worth checking out. It hooks up with the Dreamcast one, but I don't know what it does. I remember that was a big deal with the Dreamcast, was the Neo Geo Pocket Color hooked up into it. And that was their way of advertising the Neo Geo Pocket Color, but the Dreamcast is already failing. So your uh, failing console isn't going to help your failing console. It's too bad. The Neo Geo Pocket Color is actually pretty good. It's too bad it failed. I was happy I had one. It's pretty nice. put these there. Uh, I'm sure puzzle games aren't very interesting to watch. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna do one more. I wish I had any other. They're pretty cheap, I think. I must say one up. You know what? I shouldn't say anything's cheap anymore. Because I'm, I'm familiar with prices for used games, like, years back. Not where they're at now. Because thanks to Let's Playing Culture and everything, everyone's an idiot about pricing things. A Neo Geo Pocket Color before, because they used to get sold in like these cheapo bundles. They weren't even like called Neo Geo Pocket Colors in some of the bundles they got sold in. It was like a thing you would just buy at a Walgreens or something. Uh, you could get them on eBay for like 40 bucks with a couple games. It's, they don't go for much. But they might now. So don't hold me to that. I have no idea how much it costs now because everyone's an idiot and trying to get money. And people are stupid enough to support it. As long as one person buys a game at an outrageous price, people will keep it up. So uh, it's disappointing knowing that that's how it is right now. I couldn't believe GameCube games are so overpriced now. Because just a few years ago I bought them for nothing. And now they're all worth a ton. The Game Boy player goes for a ton of money. And that's really weird to me. I remember everybody regretted owning one when they came out. Because I got one and I was like, why did I get this? I already have a Game Boy Advance. And it's not like it was doing much for your games anyways. Like, the Super Game Boy had a point. It was adding colors to it. Uh, and you could draw borders and stuff. Like, there was something to it. Game Boy Player didn't really have anything to it. It's you could play Game Boy Advance games on the TV. That was a. I think there was an app, uh, like an option to add aliasing. That's all I remember about it. I don't remember there being anything special. Uh, I guess it's useful if you're let's playing Game Boy Advance games now. So that's probably why they're so overpriced. Because Let's Players are responsible for a lot of that. They, uh, Game Grump, they play a game, and then all the little kids say, I want Game 2, I want to be a Let's Player. How much will that cost? And they go, oh gee, I don't know, uh, a hundred? And they go, wow, games were really expensive back then. And they go, yeah, sure. 
Because they're dumb little kids and they don't know no better. Mama, Papa, buy me the Game Boy Player. I want to do a Let's Play series. I'm going to be like Aaron. Oh, I'm actually not doing too bad now. This is kind of the spot you want to be in. Although I'm probably going to jinx myself. Oh, wow, I'm an idiot. I really wasn't paying attention. I just dropped the wrong one there. I thought I thought it was the other one. Whoops. Well, disregard what I said. This isn't the spot you want to be in now. I could run Mario or twist it on it. I remember uh, trying to play Kirby Tilt and Tumble on the Game Boy Player by just tilting the GameCube around. Is there any way to properly emulate that yet? Has anyone come up with anything for it? Not just WarioWare Twisted, but like Kirby's Tilt and Tumble and everything. Because I haven't played that in years, and I, I'm wondering how it holds up because I don't have it anymore. I remember it was really frustrating playing it just because you could barely see the screen. I remember when you're calibrating it, I always used to calibrate it wrong intentionally just so I could actually see the screen while I was playing it. Uh, but that, I mean, that's the game with colors, hard to see anything on it. Nice system, but uh, no backlight was a problem. Game Boy Light's really cool, though. Um, I don't know how much the Game Boy Light goes for at this point. Um, I bought a Game Boy Light years back. I just wanted to get a gold one, but uh, someone was selling an Astro Boy one, so I just went, sure, why not? I didn't know that was actually worth as much as it is, because I only got it for like 100. It's worth like 500 or something. Might have gone down now, though. Um, but the Game Boy Light is really, really nice. Um, it has a it has a blue backlight on it, so it looks really cool when you're playing stuff on it. And you can optionally just switch to a, a normal screen. Because you just use the power switch to switch between it. It's a good system, I liked it a lot. I was aware of it since I was a kid, too, because someone I knew at school had it. Because he's a little Japanese boy. Uh, I wanted to get a 64DD uh, way back, and it was only 300 with the F-Zero expansion kit, and I feel like a moron for not doing it because, go figure, everyone overpriced it now. It's like a thousand to get it now, for no reason. There was no demand for it, but I guess because gaming on YouTube is a thing, and uh, did you know gaming did a video on it, you gotta jack those prices up. So, for anyone out there thinking they're doing good with a lot of these gaming videos, they're doing the opposite. They're actually hurting things. Because uh, the demand goes up with these people who are clueless to any of this, and they're willing to throw away money to strengthen the stupid used game industry and have everyone overprice everything. I really would have liked it too. The Mario artist for it is really cool too. It's like a 3D movie maker, but on the console. You can use your own photographs on characters' faces. And that was where the concept for WarioWare came from, because they had WarioWare minigames in it. But now I'll never get to play it because it's overpriced. Can I get the piece I want, by the way? Can I mention, the thing I really hate about a lot of puzzle games is when it just turns into you waiting for a piece to show up. Uh, it's always very annoying, and that is why this is pretty much over now. Did you see that? Just turned completely around because I did not get the piece I needed for a very long time. So it's over. And it's Magnetus. It's, a, it's an alright game. Unfortunately, that's usually how you end up losing, is that it just doesn't give you the piece you want anymore. I remember Tetris on Game Boy was horrible about that. The stray pieces actually are really, really rare to ever come up in it. 
But it's Tetris, so it's not that big of a deal. But if you're trying to be one of those those Tetris boys who always sets up a, uh, a big stack for the straight piece, and you're dropping stuff quick, you're probably never going to get it. So you're just going to be stacked to the top before you finally get a straight piece. Poyo Poyo is pretty fun. Yeah, it is. Those are, uh, those are pretty fun games. I spent uh, 110 bucks on... Oof. Metroid Trilogy. Tetris is for scrubs. Uh, those arcade ones are actually pretty fun. I forget what they are. Grandmaster, I think is what they're called. Those games uh, brought a lot to the table for Tetris, like Fast Drop and everything. They're pretty good. Okay, so what, what did I say I was going to do now? Jet Set Radio? Uh, oh, I don't have it installed. I guess we're not going to do that. Uh, what could I play then? Uh... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> let's see let's see if this works uh oh boy we're gonna we're gonna play a, we're gonna play a winner of a video game right now <laughs> Uh, I'm sure you can all hear it right now. This is set up like garbage. So we're gonna play a great video game made by a great company who is not horrible in any way. Uh, can I game capture it? Oh, how am I gonna go about doing this? I need to see if there's a way I can actually run this window. Hey, if I can't actually play this, I'll be disappointed. It starts out in a window, so that's really annoying if I can't actually window this. I don't think I can capture this game if I can't actually window it. I don't think I can window it. Yeah, I don't think I can window it. Okay, so never mind. I was gonna play a really bad game that Interplay released recently. Because Interplay is a joke of a company at this point. But I can't get this running. Go figure. How about that? Sorry everybody. Uh, let's see, what's something else we could play? Yeah, Interplay. Whoa. There's something. Um, I wouldn't normally recommend a video from Machinima, but it's the only place I ever saw someone really cover it. They did an entire video series about Interplay in the fall of Interplay. And it's, uh, I think it's worth a watch. It's pretty decent. Because if you think Interplay right now is the Interplay that you grew up with, it isn't. Um, the guy who owns, what was it, Titus? Titus? I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it. Uh, the, the fantastic company that brought you titles like Chess 64 and Superman 64. Uh, they, they are the ones that ended up buying interplay so the head of that company now runs interplay and he's just been sitting on it and not doing anything uh there's a big thing with the descent developers recently who said that he's been sapping their royalties despite having a contract agreement where they're supposed to be getting royalties for game sales and they didn't see any of it, so it got taken off good old game because he was scamming them. Um, their stock is worth less than a cent right now. 
Whew, they are, they're quite the mess of a company. Also, if you ever see an Interplay game on any digital distribution, you should not be buying it because none of it is going to be going towards any of the people who worked on the game. You're just strengthening the wallet of whoever is in charge of it right now and doesn't intend to do anything. He's sitting on a throne of licenses that uh, people would love to have back, and they're only going to see it back once that company goes under. Uh, I guess I could play this. Oh, I'm sorry, do I have to request access, Steam? Do I need to request access for all the games I own and are my own games? Ugh. Alright, hang on. I guess I, I gotta switch things up again. Um, keyboard. But I remember people were, uh, I keep hearing people say everywhere, like, oh, I want Earthworm Jim back. No, you don't. No, you don't. If you saw Earthworm Jim 3D, you knew what ended up happening when, because uh, Shiny got bought by Interplay, I think was the situation. A lot of the people quit. Doug Tenaple wasn't working on it anymore. You weren't having any of the original people involved anymore. So I don't think you want to play uh, Earthworm Jim game like that. And that's, I mean, that's the thing with all of it. You're not going to get the game you actually want. You want to see it come back. But you're not going to get what you actually want. This is really loud, isn't it? This is really loud! Holy moly! Uh, shout out! Shout out to Iron Galaxy! You're very good at games! You're good at game ports! I like that you give me volume settings, but you don't apply them until I hit the start button. That's a very good idea. That's a very good idea that you max out the volume levels so you blast someone's ears out and then you lower the volume after they hit the start button. That's very smart. All you had to do was make a menu. You were just using an emulator. All you had to do was make a menu, and you couldn't even do that right! Okay, so anyways... Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So we're gonna play a video game. If I could, you know, alt-tab it properly, because Iron Galaxy doesn't like you playing their games. Alright, do you hear me? Hello? Are we good to go, everybody? Can you hear me, everyone? Am I audible? Okay. So anyways, uh, we're going to be playing the Capcom D&D &D game. Hopefully when everyone else is around we can do four player in it because this is a game we've wanted to do for a while uh, I just you know Something nice is that iron galaxy uh, Iron galaxy put this on steam. It's very nice of them All they had to do was make a menu and they couldn't even do that right so um, As soon as you boot the game up, it's full blast it's full blast, it hurts your ears, and it doesn't apply your volume settings until you finally hit the start button. So every single time you run it, you get to hurt your ears. And, you know, common sense, maybe you would think, gee, if there's volume settings, they should be applied right out the door, but no, th that's alright. They don't need to do that. Yeah, Iron Galaxy is great at porting games. They're wonderful. All they had to do with this was make a menu. And they couldn't do it. And they made one of the slowest, most dysfunctional menus I've ever seen in a video game. But at least there's graphic filters. That's what I care about. 
Give me some of the graphic filters, I say. Uh, give me some of that uh, Super Eagle. Give me some of the... Th that's it. I People don't appreciate menus enough in games. I need to say that, too. Functional menus are not that difficult to set up. But the thing is, like, if we get a really functional UI in a game, we take it for granted. We don't really notice it. But god, when a game does a menu great, it does it great, and it feels good, and you pop right into a game, and everything's fine. Or you get something like this, where you need to waste a whole bunch of time just getting the game working. And that's never fun. It's never fun at all. Alright. So we're gonna play as, uh, this hot mama. Uh, so there's a story. But I don't know it. Help me. Oh, there's the story. So we gotta help me. Okay, so these are the... These are the gobbies. These are the dobbies. You can beat them. And then you can eat them. And this game has all the mechanics. It's got wall jumping. Uh, you can go... You got down, in, down aerials. Wow, it's like a fight. Wait, can I double jump? Holy moly, I can. Uh, you do little tricks. Like you can slide. That's how you slide. It's quarter circle uh, jump. How about that? There's actual mechanics. How do you do that? Oh, it's qu quarter circle uh, attack. This isn't your normal beat em up. And that's what's so cool about this game. This is a this is a really good game. Probably one of the best arcade games you're ever gonna play. Uh, one of the only gripes I really have is that the menu system is really weird. Because you can open your inventory, you can open a spell selection, but it's really awkward how you do it. We're gonna we're gonna clobber these guys a little bit. Look, it's a little boy. Okay, so let's name our person. A mighty name. Help. Help. Uh, how quiet is it, by the way? I, how do I pause it? There we go. How quiet is it, by the way? How quiet is it, by the way? Should I turn it up a little bit more? Is that better? Oh, cool! If you alt-tab the game, it switches between the menu music and the game's music. Jesus Christ. Wait, what? Holy moly. Okay, don't ever get these people to port your game. Jesus Christ. They only had one thing to do here. It wasn't that hard. Okay, how do you... Oh, where's my jump? There it is. Okay, there we go. You can even duck in this game.
this game is pretty good. Uh, I forget how... What key is it? There we go. There's my inventory. So there's your inventory if you... Uh, no. How do you... Oh, God. I don't think I have magic anyways, so I don't have to worry about it. Thank God. But it's a really awkward system. Oh, it's a trap. Okay, can we, uh, can we use this? Yeah, yeah, close it. Close the inventory. Yeah, okay. There we go. Who's this guy? He's a real goof. I need to learn to stop saying goof now because Ethan said it, and now everyone, if Ethan ever says anything, it has to catch on as a meme. Like, I used to say Sody Pop all the time, but now I can't say it. Oh, here's the big man. Here's the big boy. By the way, you can very easily get hit by that the first time. Nope, oh, I didn't mean to duck. Whoop. Is that your best? Is that your best? So, uh, cool thing about this game, you can duck. Bad thing about this game, ducking is done by holding jump and down. So if you're trying to get out of the way uh, vertically and you want to jump, you can't do it. So that's a, that's a downside to it. And ducking isn't really too useful, so that's a problem too. Is that your best? I'm doing real good. Doing real good. Is that your best? Also, the way the Iron Galaxy decided to name the difficulties. Uh, this one's called Apprentice. I don't think this is actually the default setting in the arcade. I think this is the hard mode setting. Uh, so, you know, very cool, Twin Galaxy. How about you just give it normal names? I know you want to be fancy about it, but just let me know what I'm doing. Because you just popped a ROM in here anyways. I always preferred Alien vs. Alien vs. Predator is pretty good, too. Capcom did a lot of good ones. Uh... But, uh, what else? Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, I think, is my favorite that they did outside of this one. Uh, Battle Circuit's alright. What the heck? Oh, I didn't even remember this being a thing. Ah! Where's Cory? I don't know. cory has been doing his own streams now, anyways. I haven't talked to him in a while. In like a few days. I think the streams have been going alright though. Oh, we did it. Look, it's a th what? Uh, what? Hey, hey now. That's not an encounter. Hey, you said encounter! What happened in the encounter system? You can't just change the rules on me like that! Holy moly. Well, uh, whatever they said about the boat being less dangerous, they lied. This is much more dangerous. What is Cory's Twitch? Yeah, I think it's SpazCast.
Look, it's a black dragon. Let's retreat to the ship. So do I get hurt for free again? Is that what this is? Pretty sure that's what this is. Oh yeah, I forgot, there's even blocking in this if you have a shield. Which I don't have, so I can't block. If you hold the attack button down, you can block. This game's really cool, it has a lot to it. Oh, they threw a knife at me. Look, he's doing his little thing. Neat. I entrust everything to you. Whoa, what do you wish to know? Uh, no thanks. Oh, I was hoping to say, oh, you're humble. I need you to give me something for that. What a turd. Troglodyte. He's fighting a bunch of mongoloids. Whoa, hey you now. This looks so unusual. I'm just walking around on a raft with all these people swirling around. Oh, not this again. Oh. Oh. Is that your bed? Is that your bed? They're just floating on a tree. Uh oh! Is that your bed? Is that your bed? Okay, so we're gonna get him this one. There we go. Yeah! How are you gonna deal with a knife? <laughs> that just looks goofy when you do that. Killing a huge thing with a little knife. Oh no! By the way, if I was playing this while not streaming, I wouldn't even be continuing. Because uh, with arcade games, I don't like doing it more than one credit. He threw a bag at me. Also, every character has two outfits in this game. So they really put the extra effort in. Okay, you can leave me alone now. What's the sign say? Keep going, don't turn. Okay. Good advice. Oh! Okay, it's a trap, I get it. Uh, can I switch to that? Arrow. B oil. Okay. Take that! Oh no! Not Scorpies! Oh! Oh God! Oh! It's the man scorpion. Is that your best? 
Okay, we gotta fight the man scorpion. You could have fooled me with that hair. Okay, we gotta. Oh, get out of here! Get out of here! Ow. Oh. We're gonna we're gonna get this man, Scorpion. We're gonna clonk him real good. Oh, he almost threw a bag at me. Oh, God! Well, that's the end of Schmeng. Uh. Who can we be now? Uh, we'll be... What is that guy doing? A uh, tireless warrior. <laughs> Holy moly, why wasn't I playing this him before? Oh my god, why wasn't I playing this him before? Holy moly! Where are you going? Scorpion! The man scorpion! Welcome! Okay, so now we can buy stuff. Oh. Right, let's get a couple of these. Oh, it's like we're winning a slot machine. What do you think of that? You? Come on. Come on, talk to me. She doesn't even want to speak to me anymore. What's even the point? Oh look, I can go over here. There's nothing over here. Well, I guess it's time for my hand to slide out of here. Prince Apollo Baba, don't die the prince. Okay. Uh, there's a map. There's RPG Maker 95. Oh, they're all dead. Holy moly. Oh my god, he's good. Oh, until that happened. Get out of here. Oh my god, look at these jumps. This is way better. This is how you should play the game. Oh no, it's the bird lady. Storm Eagle. Well, 
That's the that's the end of our friend. Now we're the other lost Viking. so bad. Get out of here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wait, what? Did, okay. Ah! Here's all my friends that you don't get to see. Oh, this fucker. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna kick this guy's caboose. Okay, maybe not. doing quit stomping him uh oh ah! okay we're gonna get him this time maybe not this is magic now there's a billion of them. I guess he has a bigger vertical hitbox than I do. We'll get him this time. Oh, I forgot that's a thing, too. This fight's on a timer. You can beat him, but it's on a timer. His twins got him. Thank you, recolor of him. Tell Aaron. Oh, oh, we're crashing. Okay, so this is the forest of gross stuff. We're gonna fight the bad guys. What does this say? Oh. Get away from me. Wow, bugs hurt. Oh. Oh! Oh, no! Purple men! There's still one purple boy left. How about we get him? Oh, well, there he is. 
Okay, whatever. Oh, it was a trap. Okay, you can do oh, what's this? I think I'm actually gonna be done. Uh, Cause I just looked at the time and it's 2.20. Holy moly. Uh, I'll play this more some other time. Okay, so that was Dungey Dragon. Uh, Sure it is a video game. Okay, so, uh... That was all the video games. I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, th thank you... Thank you for watching the video game. Um, all donations tonight will go towards getting us a pizza. And so far, that's looking like a pretty small pizza. I guess you can get a personal pan. Play Aquaman. We already played Aquaman. It's boring. There's nothing worth talking about in it. Uh, th thanks for watching, whoever came. Uh, we'll be streaming more some, some other time. <sighs> <sighs> Have a good night, everybody. Don't let the bed bug bite. And if the bed bug bite, you're stuck with them forever. I hate that that's... Why is that even an expression? I hate it. I don't, I don't want to be reminded about bed bugs existing. Uh, have, a, have a good night, everybody. What is that? Skelter is O-N-E-N-G. What does that mean? Who's Skelter? If this private university that I went to wasn't ringing me dry, I donate. You don't have to donate. You don't have to donate. None of that matters. Uh, but we'll try to stream again maybe this weekend even. We'll see. I'll figure something out. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.